Good morning. So aquaponics is based on fish culture and these are the fish tanks. So uh, can you, uh, you will see the uh, goldfish we have uh, harvested in here. And these are the four tanks full of goldfish. This is the monitoring system which tells you the basic parameters of aquaponics that is pH, temperature, DU and conductivity. This is called the aqua zone and from here we go to the filter zone which is outside. In filter zone we bring the water from the fish tank to the first filter in which the heavy solids are being collected and from there on we move to the second filtration unit where we remove the even the smallest uh, waste which is coming from the fish tank. Here, once the filtration is being done, we provide more of oxygen to start the nitro nitrogen cycle into the filter tanks. What happens is here, the nitrate, the nit ammonia is being converted into nitrates. The water is full of useful fertilizer which is being fed to the plants via a pump and the distribution network which we have created over here. As you can see the growth, we are growing lettuces, tomatoes, basil, capsicum and flowering plants. This is a 600 square feet facility which has more than 400 square feet of growing area. The water from the distribution network comes to the growing tanks. As you can see the tomatoes coming up, the cherry tomatoes, this is the Indian variety. And these are the hybrid varieties. So the footing has started coming in as you can see. Look at the, if you can look at the roots, how fresh they look. They are oxygenated as you can see the bubbles in the bottom. So the roots have proper oxygen and they don't move much farther down to find the nutrients. This is one kind of a system. Then we have another system which is DWC, it's called deep water culture in which we have the floating wraps. We are growing basil, it's an overgrown bok choy. It's just for the pollination to happen and collection of seeds. This is Chinese cabbage. Then we have the Lola Rosa lettuce with some variety, of mixed variety of Grand Rapids and curls. Here we are growing Swiss chard and capsicum in parallel. So you can see the fruiting coming in. It started fruiting now. And the deep water culture is based on a styrofoam sheet which is put into a growing bed. And it looks like this. So you can see it's the roots are touching water and nothing comes into the way. And the water is oxygenated again here. This growing bed has 32 growth spots. So in 8 square feet we are talking 32 growth spots. Now coming to the third part which is the media beds in which we are using the gravel which is easily commonly available, in which the water comes from the pump. We have created a sump over here from which the water comes in and there are siphons. When the water fills in, it reaches, it comes to a certain level and after that the water pumps out automatically. It's like something like a flushing system what we have in our toilets, but it is an automated siphoning system. And this is a return pipe which goes back and brings the water back to the sump tank near the filtration area. So this is every system is a closed loop closed loop system and <clears throat> there is no wastage of water so we are talking about sustainable farming in a smaller space and aquaponics or what we say is for mostly for the urban uh, farming and we can save lot of water electricity and the entire system is running on 500 watt only which can be easily connected to the solar panels of 300 watt each This is again the media systems we have flowers growing in. This is best for doing the pest management in terms of attracting the buds or the insects to the flowers rather than to the crop. Now we are introducing our new system which are called zero lots which were designed in the US and now it has been customized to the Indian environment and Indian customers. So this is the smallest system which has 24 plants and the 
footprint of just six square feet. This is the fish aquarium, and these are the two grow beds, which are one the media bed, and then the me the media bed with siphon. So you can see we have planted capsicum, the chilies, the red chilies, the coriander, the basil, the lettuces. Then we have stevia in here. We have capsicum, lemongrass. So all can be planted in together at high densities. Similarly, this system is an expansion unit of zero lot with the smallest fish aquarium at the bottom and four growing beds. This is as a six to 12, 12 square feet of total growing area. This is a system which we are currently developing, which has the aquarium at the bottom and the water comes up into the top grow bed and we have the growth on the top. So these sprays can be easily removable as you can see, just to check the quality of the roots. This is another method of doing aquaponics in which we can use small spaces to do bigger plants and the areas which are underneath can be utilized to put more herbs and densely populated crop, crop, crops. We can put, we can make a herb garden underneath which we cannot do in the conventional farming. So you can see so many plants can be put together to protect and it is called crop rotation in aquaponics where we can do multiple number of crops in the smaller spaces. This is fish, fishless system in which we use fish water coming in and we provide the nutrients from the top like calcium carbonate which is coming from the crushed eggshells and magnesium by Epsom salts. This is a seedling area which is connected to the fish water coming from the top. We generally open it a bit, once water soaks up, we can see the seedling over here. So we don't have to really, we can design this system for any uh, place, any locations and it can be done very easily. Just a walkthrough of a zero lot system. As you can see, these are the components of a zero lot system. Two grow beds, a fish tank with a filter. This is the cover tray to protect from the sunlight from the back and can be accessed easily to feed fish. These are special trays which just goes on the top and has a latch to fit it properly, it doesn't move. It comes, this system is very good for the balconies, but this is a very durable system, can last for years. This is another system which we, are, uh, which we have developed. This is for the fishless or fish uh, kind of a system in which we can just remove the center and we can have fish inside or we can use fishless system but using organic uh, uh, soils or the nutrients which we develop so that it becomes an organic farming in the end of the day. We don't use any synthetic or harmful chemicals done by other processes. These are the few systems and when we're talking about home decor, we can use something kind of this in which fish can be on the bottom, a small planter at the bottom and we have the plants on the top. So this is what aquaponics can do in your day to day life. Zero maintenance, very less time. Welcome to India Aquaponics.